the No Fate channel. Checking in. And it is finally January 2021, the year that many of us have been waiting for. And I've got some good news and I've got some bad news for you. But you've already probably determined by the title of this video and the thumbnail that I have signed up for the CrossFit Open, the 2021 CrossFit Open. Already, it's a done deal. And I want to go over what the CrossFit Open is why I signed up for it, and then what the rest of 2021 has in store for us. Let's just have a little bit of a discussion at the end of this, so uh, hopefully we can get on the right page of things and, and move forward in a positive manner. First and foremost, if this is your first time to the channel, do me a huge favor, hit that subscribe button down below. Essentially, this channel is all about me. I am a father of two, and I am trying to be a great parent to my kids and still accomplish my own personal goals. I happen to think so often that we get lost in the daily task of things. We get lost in trying to be great parents to our kids or our obligations with work that we lose sight of our own personal goals. And before we know it, it's like 10 years have passed and we're just like, where did the time go? And that's why I've created this channel and that's what this channel is all about. So what is the CrossFit Open? You're probably already familiar with CrossFit. And if you've stayed up late at night, you might have already seen some of the CrossFit games on ESPN, the Ocho. Well, a few years back, CrossFit decided to get more people involved. As you can imagine, a lot of people who enjoy and do CrossFit aren't super competitive, aren't super hardos, aren't amazing alpha athletes. And they wanted a way to kind of bring everyone across the world in to CrossFit to experience the competitive nature of CrossFit, to have fun, to push themselves, but also do so on a large scale. And the CrossFit Open is a number of weekly workouts that people sign up for, participate in, they submit their footage, whether they go to a CrossFit um, box, also known as a gym, a CrossFit gym, or if they do it at home, they submit their footage, they submit their um, scores, and then they are able to be ranked both, you know, worldwide within their country within their state within their city they can even put together groups of individuals so you can create a little group among your friends to see hey who among your your, your friends is the most fit among you um, and they've done that for a number of years and it's been quite successful and quite fun now for the competitive nature of things people who are super competitive and want to get to the crossfit games the crossfit open is an avenue to do that obviously 2020 with regards to gyms and any type of live events completely a washout in fact i know people in england are still locked out of their gyms until the end of february at the earliest so crossfit this year tweaked their crossfit open just a little bit to make it probably easier for anyone like myself to jump in and sign up for the crossfit open first and foremost it costs 20 dollars to sign up but Frankly, that's not that bad considering a lot of other virtual races that I have seen and a few that I've taken a part in part of. But what is it? So there's two versions of the CrossFit Open this year. There's one version that requires absolutely positively no equipment whatsoever. No equipment. Um, that's one way to do it. And the other way to do it is one that requires very minimal equipment. I'll try to put the list of the equipment that is needed up here, but it's like jump rope, a uh, box and, you know, a pull-up bar. I think it's super, super minimal uh, equipment overall. Um, so for most of us who have home gyms or have even a semblance of a home gym, you can certainly get your hands on that equipment. Or you could also do the CrossFit Open at your local CrossFit gym if they're open. And I know in Massachusetts, they are open, obviously, with restrictions. Another thing that makes the CrossFit Open better than ever to jump in headfirst into the shallow end of things is the fact that it's only three weeks. In past years, it has been longer, meaning there's a bit more of a commitment to kind of really focus on CrossFit workouts. So obviously three weeks, not too bad overall, especially uh, thinking that it only costs $20 boom, there's no real excuses other than just hitting that buy it now button, which I did. So why did I sign up for CrossFit 2020 Open this year of all years? Well, it's been something I've been thinking about for some time, something that I've been on the fence of, and frankly, none of my friends wanted to do it with me, and they don't have to. Oftentimes, we look for people to kind of help incentivize us to do stuff. And listen, help isn't coming this year in 2021. So I just hit the button and said it's time to just jump in 
whether it's good, bad, ugly, or whatever, and just go through the experience so that I can say that I did it and that I had fun. Do I have any expectations of doing great in the CrossFit Open? Ah, that's a big hell no. But at least I will push myself. And one of the nice things about virtual races and one of the nice things about the CrossFit Open is that it's going to force me to do some hard workouts for three weeks in a row. And frankly, that's probably the best $20 I have ever spent. So let's quickly just kind of sit back and talk about 2021. 2020, we know what happened in 2020. The V, the Rona, everything. 2021, vaccines out. But what's the reality of what's going on this year? Uh, and I happen to think negatively, unfortunately, that it's going to be more of the same. You know that, that old saying, like, meet the new boss, same as the old boss? I think 2021 is picking up right where 2020 left off. Now, the good news is, if we want to put a silver lining around it, the vaccine is out. There's numbers of vaccines out. They all look to be highly effective with respect to how they work. And they're out, they're rolling out. But I don't know about other countries, but in the, master, in, the, in the U.S. as a whole, they've started to roll things out. But the rollout has been slow for a number of reasons. Number one is just access access to dosages right there's not enough dosages to go around so they're prioritizing and number two at least in the u.s each state is prioritizing things differently some states are going by age some states are going by um you know if you're an essential worker or not and it's it's maddening on how little information is is going out about them my hope is as the year progresses that hopefully more and more people will get the vaccine, then we'll get the second dosage of the vaccine that they take, and then more herd immunity will, will slowly build up. However, I do expect that by the time that anyone my age, you know, 40 or under, is going to get the vaccine, it's probably going to be closer to the end of summer than we would like to hope and realize. And obviously, um, better later than never, but it's something that, you know, I think a lot of us thought the vaccine's going to come out. Next thing you know, we're all going to go back to living a normal life, and that's just not how it's going to go. And I think um, that's also going to play a part with respect to live events, especially for those who come to this channel. Most of those live events are obstacle course races, road races, stuff like that. And I don't think we're going to see any live obstacle course races, road races, or even CrossFit events that we know of until well past the end of the summer well past the end of the summer so you know even though 2021 is here even though the vaccine is here or even though you know there's light at the end of the tunnel i think it's going to be a long long tunnel and i want to kind of circle back to why i signed up for the crossfit open for many of us in 2021 we had goals january hit february hit and we were just like writing down all these goals we're going to do once like the snow melts we were just like just if you, if you were like me, you had so much stuff you wanted to do. Birthday plans, vacations, races, you know, physical goals, local goals. Like, listen, you had goals upon goals upon goals. And then March hit and everything was smothered. And you probably lied to yourself like I did and said, hey, listen, in a month, everything's going to go back to normal. And here we are in 2021 and we are right where we were in March, kind of for many of us locked in restricting where we go, who we see, stuff like that. It's been brutal. And I, I just want to have this video, the end of this video, to have a conversation that even though, you know, most of this video has been doom and gloom, I know that it's tough to think of another six or even eight months of just restrictive life as we know it. We need to make sure that we're signing up and taking part in as many things as we can. And obviously there's not a lot of live events, but that means signing up for those virtual races, signing up for challenges, getting your buddies, even if it's remotely, getting your buddies to kind of sign up for things. That's why I reached out to the OCR Kings and I said, hey, I know you got a lot of obstacle course races virtually to do. Think about this. It doesn't require any equipment. You can just do it in the sanctity of your own home gym, your front yard, or a local gym if you want to run out to the local gym, whatever. But think about signing up for this uh, this because listen if you just wait for things to get better you're going to be waiting for a while and i don't know about you and hopefully you can comment below if, if you're different or if you're the same for me when it comes to my physical fitness i work out a lot better a lot harder and i have more appreciation for my workouts when i have a goal whether it's a race a vacation and i'm trying to look good for a vacation whether i'm heading to the beach in a week and i want to kind of like 
tighten everything up a little bit, you know what I'm talking about. Regardless, when I have like that goal, especially one that I've signed up for, like the CrossFit Open, um, I tend to enjoy my workouts more. I tend to push myself a lot harder and I just get more out of it. So if you're looking to get the most out of 2021, consider the CrossFit Open. And frankly, just consider signing up for stuff. Even if it's a virtual race, even if it's a virtual whatever. If it's something on your list that even comes close to one of the goals you had, if it's going to be something that hopefully might make you smile just a little bit, sign up for it. Get it done. Do not wait until life returns to normal because you're going to be waiting quite a while, unfortunately. And there are a lot of virtual races out there. Even if they're not local to your community, if they're virtual, you can still sign up for them. So certainly check out sites like coolrunning.com. Check out sites like uh, www.google.com. You might have heard of it. Just type in virtual races or virtual obstacle course races or virtual road races you get the idea. Even virtual hikes. I'm sure there's groups of hikers that do virtual hikes together and share photos and stuff. Whatever you're into, don't wait until things get better. Just try to find a way to find a way to get it done this year now in the state that we're in pre-vaccine distribution, pre-solution, pre-normal. Listen, just get it done. Don't save it for the trip back. There, I said it. That's the tagline at the end of the video, so you know the video is over. If you came this far in the video, do me a favor. Hit that like button, drop a comment, hit the, hit the subscribe button. As usual, thank you for watching and don't save anything for the trip back. This channel is dedicated to my life as a father of two wonderful children and it centers around health, fitness, and all of the tricks and tribulations that I go through to try to be a great parent to my children and still accomplish my own personal goals.